Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Dentistry to the Point. So next we are moving on to the last two steps which we are left with the cavity preparation that is finishing off external walls and cleaning, inspecting and sealing the preparation. So firstly starting with finishing the external wall. So each and every external wall of the preparation should be finished properly. Now what is the necessity? क्या जरूरत है इस external walls को finish करने की? To provide a better marginal seal between the tooth and the restorative material. जो भी tooth और restorative material का interface रहेगा उधर tight marginal seal should be provided. Why? Now why is this marginal seal necessary? Because if there is not enough marginal seal at the tooth restoration interface, then there will be micro leakage of the microorganisms and the harmful agents which can cause again the secondary caries. Second is increased strength at the tooth and restoration. जो भी tooth और restoration का interface रहेगा, if they are well adapted to each other, then there will be enough strength for both the tooth and restorative material. They are going to get support of each other whenever the masticatory load is put on them. So these two are the main reasons we need to finish the external walls. Now you can do the finishing of external walls in two patterns. First is the butt joint that is you make a 90 degree angle with the external wall of the preparation that is mainly done in amalgam restorations and ceramic restoration. So the butt, the external margin will be of 90 degree. So this will be a bit less aesthetic because it is not going to totally merge with the tooth surface. You can see two different zones amalgam and the tooth or ceramic and the tooth. So in this the 90 degree butt joint it is less aesthetic but compared to lap or slip joint there will be angle more than 90 degree and it is seen in cast and composite restoration. So just remember whenever you do composite restoration we also discussed in the previous step during the bevelling of enamel margin that while uh, restoring the tooth with composite you need to bevel the external margin of the preparation so to provide closer adaptation of the restoration with the tooth so that it merges properly with the tooth and there will be no micro leakage and enough retention and resistance is provided to the restorative material. It will also look more aesthetic compared to the butt joint which we do in amalgam and ceramic restoration. So this is about the finishing of external walls. Lastly, cleaning, inspecting and sealing of the cavity preparation. So you are done with each and everything. Last job you are left is cleaning of the preparation walls. What, whichever the walls are present, you have to clean karna hai, floor margins and also enamel and dentinal chips which are present during the tooth preparation. Whenever you grind the tooth or cut the tooth, there are small minute chips of enamel and dentin which are scattered throughout the cavity preparation. So it is very much necessary to remove the debris and those chips from the cavity. You need to clean the cavity. Thoroughly. Next is drying the tooth preparation. Now as you have cleaned the cavity, next you have to dry the tooth preparation before inserting or loading the restorative material into the cavity. Koi bhi material dalne se pehle, you are going to create proper isolation protocol, isolation measures are taken so that it also doesn't hinder the properties of the restorative material also. Lastly, sterilization of preparation walls whichever the preparation walls are present its sterilization is very much necessary because now lastly you are going to pack that with restorative material anything which is packed then it cannot be changed so it is better you do sterilization of preparation walls first only so these were the nine steps of cavity preparation hope you guys enjoyed the videos on all the steps then please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget hit to don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular updates of such interesting lectures. Thank you.